A couple at the center of an August shooting that left two Mountain Pine men dead is free on bond tonight, but so far they are not facing homicide charges. TSV 11's Rolly Hoyt has an update on the case, and here's from the mother of the two young men who died. It has been a draining three and a half months for Constance Matlock. Her two sons, Tyson Stewart and Cason Porter, grew up in Mountain Pine, but died in a shooting in Hot Springs back in August. For three and a half months, police made no arrests. But that started to change last week, but still not enough for family and friends who have been constantly crying for justice. Because we have so many questions that are unanswered. Among them, will the two people involved in shooting Matlock's sons be charged with homicide? Last week, Braxton Gravitt and his wife Madison Akers turned themselves in on gun and drug charges. On August 21st, evidence shows, and the family says, Stewart and Porter drove to meet Gravitt on Twin Points Road. It was about drugs. Stewart's father tells me his son smoked marijuana, but he had moved past teenage trouble. This would be one last quick way to make cash with a new baby on the way. We, we're not putting our sons on pedestals. We raised good boys. We worked hard to raise good boys. But we know teenagers are teenagers. Boys will be boys. But what happened went beyond teenage mischief. Something caused either Gravit or Akers to shoot. Police say it appears Stewart or Porter tried to barge into the house. That question appears to be what has held up any homicide charges. But Matlock and the family supporters fear there's a racial reason as well. If this was my black family, and these, and a Caucasian woman and a Caucasian man came into my black household. We're all going to jail. Prosecutor Michelle Lawrence says that's not the case. She tells me she's bringing these charges now because the evidence is there now. And she stressed the investigation remains open. But stress is the hardest part right now for Matlock. My whole life has been devastated. And I just feel like everything that can be done has not been done. A spokesperson for the Hot Springs Police also expressed frustration, but not over the investigation. They say two recurring internet rumors need to be dispelled. No member of Gravette's family has ever been connected to the Hot Springs Police Department, and Gravette's never been a confidential informant. They say they hear the frustrations in the community, but say this case isn't like something you see on TV. It's not going to be solved in an hour. In Hot Springs, Roley Hoyt, THV 11 News. And the attorney for Braxton Gravett called the gun and drug charges, quote, absurd and described the affidavit used to arrest his client as misleading.